All right, so the first thing we're going to do here, we're going to create a new animation blend space. So just right click animation and animation blend space. And UE5 uh, here is going to be walk and lean. Before you can proceed, we can go to the ABP menu, go to locomotion. Here on walk and run, we're going to remove this. Um, we're going to add the direction. Now, in case you don't have the direction, I made a tutorial about it in the last video. And we're just going to simply drag and drop the walk lean animation blend space to the ABP menu right here. The direction is going to be the top and the ground speed is going to be the, the, the bottom. And here you can go to the output animation pose. Compile, save. Okay, you can close out of this if you want to. So here, if we press play, of course, we're, our character is going to move on the A pose because we don't have animations on the blend space. So we're going to do that right now. So let's double click on our blend space. So here we are. Um, on the horizontal axis, we're going to write direction. Direction. Uh, the minimum is going to be minus 50. And the maximum is going to be plus 50. Click here and snap to grid. So we can, when you drag and drop, it's going to snap to the, trig, to the grid. Uh, it's easier for us. On the vertical axis, we're going to choose, we're going to name speed. On the maximum axis, we're going to name 900. Uh, also snap to grid. And here on the bottom, weight speed, we're going to choose the value of two. And here, let's go to search for assets. Um, let's type here ALS. As you can see here, we're going to drag and drop our uh, ALS and walk forward animation to the bottom, bottom right, bottom left. And also we're going to add our sp uh, run first on the middle, uh, sprint here. And the left is going to be here and the right is going to be here. So now our blend space is already set up. We can close out of this if you want to. I'm not going to close. Uh, when you press play, now our character can lean to the both sides, left and right. This lean effect is more noticeable when we are running. That's it for the tutorial. So now I'm going to do some explanations of how I did the leaning animation, which is pretty simple. You don't need to follow anything from here. So to make the lean animation, you're going to basically grab or you're going to basically grab your run animation. Uh, for example, I have this one right here. And basically what you're going to do, you're going to just copy and paste two times. So paste two times. And one of them you're going to write left. And uh, you're going to like right um left lean and the other one we're going to right right so you're going to duplicate the run animation two times and you're going to add uh different names so this is going to be the left animation and this is going to be the right so as you can click here on the the left you can see that we have our care our animation here and you can see that we have the curves we can add like a curve here so if you go to the skeleton tree um we go up a little bit and you see here pelvis uh this pelvis ball this pelvis ball controls the rotation of our character and also the the location i think and what matters is that we can rotate the pelvis to be on the rotation that you want. So uh, the recommend, I recommend you to put 60 degrees, as you can see here, the rotation pitch. Maybe you can like add something here, like move the, the, the foot. Maybe you can move the, the, the neck, like do something like this. Also make sure your animation is paused on the first frame. So after you're done rotating the bones of your character, 
you can press key and it's going to add this uh, additive layer tracks, which is just the informations of the bones that you modified, that you rotated, specified bones. So in here, so it's going to be all in here, all the, the bones that you just uh, modified, it's going to be here. So here, after you've done with the changes, you can click on apply compression. So you got to make sure you have this little message saying that the animation was compressed successfully. You can click on OK here. We can save. And that's everything you got to do here, the lean animation. And the good part about this is that you can modify any bonds in any animation you want. So you don't need to actually download any animation because it's very simple to use, like depending on what you want to do. And so we're going to do the same for the right lean. So we're going to do the same for the right lean. So I don't need to do this because I've already done for the left. So, so after you rotate your bones and edit your animation, you can just put the animation in your blend space and be happy. So this is good if you want to make your game a little bit more realistic and the feel of realism increases and physics as well. Okay. So that's it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you in the next one. Bye.